Hey there, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. So today I have a totally different setup and I'm going to explain why. So currently we all know all the world is staying inside and some of us may not have access to a makeup brush cleaner. So I have come up with this concoction or mixture to be able to wash our, our makeup brushes. And my makeup brushes needed ASAP. <laughs> they are very dirty and I haven't washed them in ages. So let me explain my mixture. So here I have some extra virgin olive oil which will moisturize our brushes and make them softer. And I have the shampoo and I have some dish soap. These will be the two mixtures that will actually wash the brushes. And here I have two bowls of water, which I will use since I do not have a sink with a tap of water, I will use these. And I have um, an empty bowl to do the mixture in. To be able to wash the brushes thoroughly, I have this. This is a scrubby, which I bought from Reroot Malta. And then this is going to replace the dish sponge. It is all natural, it is made of potato skin, and it is compostable once you cannot use it anymore. So this is great. Also here I have two tissue papers on which I will put my brushes so that they can dry. So let's start first. The mixture. So first I'm going to put some olive oil. I'm going to, to put some shampoo. You can use any type of shampoo. I'm going to put the dish soap. I'm doing a lot because I have a lot of dirty brushes so this needs to needs to be enough so that I can wash all my brushes now I have this which I use to put up my hair and I'm going to mix everything together as much as possible Start with a small brush. I have this fluffy brush here. I'm going to dip it in some water. Put it in the mixture. And as you can see, the mixture is foaming up. And all that nasty makeup is coming off on the scrubby. And I'm cleaning it and cleaning the brush in circular motions. Then I dip it in water so I can clean it from the mixture. And as you can see, it is all clean. Yay! <laughs> Let me do a really dirty foundation one is really really nasty so I dip it in some water I put it in the mixture um, mm, all the gunk is coming out oh. look Actually smells really nice. Clean as well, and you continue with this process until you clean all your brushes. So I'm going to continue. Then 
The mixture is made up of all products which you have at home, so it is really simple, really inexpensive. You don't need to buy expensive, fancy brush cleaners because this mixture, this mixture does the same job and it is actually more natural and better for your brushes. And it smells nice as well. Of course, you replace the water. If you're using bowls and water, you replace the water when the water is all dirty. But if you're using a sink, you don't have this problem. <laughs> all the gunk. I use this brush for blusher, so you can see it is all pink. Because that is the blusher that I always use, it is a pink blusher. I do some eyeshadow brushes and eyeshadow I usually do two at a time. doing a big powder brush this brush is enormous and it is by Bayou oh yes it's so satisfying to wash the brushes I don't wash them frequently I must confess it takes a bit of time but when I actually do it it is really satisfying to watch all the gunk come out of them is actually making the bristles softer so yes it's really good next a stippling brush I use for the mousse foundation and the same process Small powder brush. I've changed the water in my bowl because it was really really dirty and I'm going to continue with the process.
you can see I have cleaned all my brushes I still have a lot of mixture left but at least it was enough to do all of my brushes I'm really happy with this mixture I really hope you try it out let me know what you think in the comments below and if you try it out what were your results that is all for this video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to follow me on my Instagram just just by Nino and to subscribe to my mailing list I have the link in the description box below until the next one bye bye